It's a grim milestone Paul Whelan hoped he would never see. Today marks five years in a Russian prison for the ex-United States Marine. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. I'm Karen Drew, in for Kimberly Gill. And I'm Damon Fernandez, in for Devin. It's been a years-long journey dotted with disappointment and public pleas for help. Now, as our Sean Lay shows us, Paul Whelan is ramping up his demands on the U.S. government. Sean, tell us more. We've been tracking every step of Paul Whelan's journey here, locked up in a Russian prison. And today, five years, as you say, he spoke out reading a statement. And the bottom line here, he is calling on the Biden administration to do more, lots more to get him home. Five years have passed since I was abducted from a Moscow hotel by the Russian secret police. December 28th, 2018. Paul Whelan of Novi was arrested in Moscow. Whelan says he was there for a friend's wedding. Russian authorities claim Whelan was part of the intelligence community. On his visit, allegedly paid for intelligence information. There was no trial, no evidence presented. He was detained for two years, and then in 2020, the Russians handed down a massive 16-year prison sentence. And now, five years of Paul Whelan's life is gone. And it looks like this every day, held in a remote prison where he works in the laundry and clothing area. Whelan telling CNN today he is urging President Biden to do everything he can to secure his release, as if his own son had been taken hostage. Even now, the Russian government refuses to provide any evidence of a crime or my guilt. Our concepts of rights and freedoms are alien in Russia, where foreigners are often used as pawns in diplomatic conflicts. I'm more than past ready to return home, and I'm counting on the U.S. government to come for me, and soon. Just a few weeks ago, Russian President Vladimir Putin was asked about Whelan, and the Russian president said he would like to make a deal with the U.S. All right, back here live. So Paul Whelan's twin brother here in the U.S., David, he tells me that he does believe the U.S. has made offers to the Russian government to get Paul home, but they have rejected nothing close to what they're asking for. They just want to know what that's going to take to get Paul Whelan home. We'll continue following. We're live tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4, back to you.